What to expect during a bone marrow aspiration and biopsy? In this video, you will learn what bone marrow aspiration and biopsy are, why they are done, what happens during a bone marrow aspiration and biopsy, and how to care for the procedure site. What are bone marrow aspiration and biopsy? Bone marrow is the soft, spongy material inside your bones. It has liquid and solid parts. Your bone marrow creates blood stem cells that grow into red blood cells that carry oxygen, white blood cells that fight infection, and platelets that help your blood clot. A bone marrow aspiration and biopsy are two separate procedures that are often done at the same time. A bone marrow aspiration removes a sample of the liquid part of the bone marrow. A bone marrow biopsy removes a small, solid piece of bone in the bone marrow. In both procedures, the samples are taken from your pelvic bone. This bone is in your lower back by your hip. Why are bone marrow aspirations and biopsies done? A bone marrow aspiration and biopsy can check the health of your bone marrow, your blood cell counts and iron levels, and how your body is responding to treatment. What happens during a bone marrow aspiration and biopsy? The two procedures together take about 20 to 30 minutes. You will lie on your stomach or side, and the area will be numbed with an injection of local anesthetic. This is a medicine that blocks most of the pain of the procedure. It will not make you sleepy or feel any different. Your healthcare provider may recommend a sedative for the procedure. This medication will help you relax and make you more comfortable during the procedure. You may or may not fall asleep. If you receive a sedative, an adult caregiver, such as a family member or friend, must take you home after the procedure. You will not be able to get a sedative or be discharged to go home unless you have a caregiver with you. The bone marrow aspiration is usually done first. After the area is numb, a hollow needle is pushed into the bone. Then, a syringe attached to the needle removes a sample of the liquid bone marrow. You may feel a deep, dull, aching pain for a few seconds until the syringe is removed from the hollow needle. During the bone marrow biopsy, the hollow needle is rotated to remove a sample of the bone. You may feel some discomfort, such as a pushing and pulling feeling while the sample is being taken. Then, the bone marrow and bone samples are sent to the lab to be looked at under a microscope. How to care for the procedure site. The bandage covering your procedure site needs to stay in place for 24 hours. After 24 hours, you may remove the bandage and take a shower. Do not sit in water, such as a bath or hot tub, until the procedure site is healed. Healing may take about one week. You may have some discomfort at the procedure site after the numbing medication has worn off. If the area is tender, you can apply an ice pack to the site for 20 minutes, two to three times a day. Walking may also help your discomfort. Contact your care team if the pain continues to bother you after one week, if you have a fever, or if you notice increased redness, swelling around the site. If you have questions or concerns about your bone marrow aspiration or biopsy, please contact your care team. For more patient education videos, visit Fred Hutch front slash patient dash education dash videos or scan the QR code.